up to you. Uh, thank you for coming today. I mean, uh, I believe that uh, I, I, I've been presenting in uh, one million cups in Florida, where I'm based. And um, anyhow, it's always nice to get feedback from the community. So, uh, I mean, uh, cup is many places. So let me start. Ready? <laughs> so, uh, so my name is Jose. I go by Pepe. Uh, if you care to call me after. Pepe. Um, I'm food with my bodega online. We are a delivery system for bodegas. Think about uh, that app that gives you food for a restaurant, right? Or for a supermarket, but for bodegas. Bodegas is like the missing piece in all these logistical uh, new apps that you can see to order things. Um, bodegas is not something that is only New York based, or maybe Patterson, or Passaic, or maybe you went to Philly, or Boston, and you see bodegas. Bodegas is a global phenomenon. Uh, they call it formally traditional trade, right? And as you see many places in the globe, right? Uh, in New York City, you see about 11,000 of these shops. Uh, they say that about 2,000 in New Jersey, 2,000 in Florida, no, in, in, in Pennsylvania. So uh, we're talking about a great number of the stores that are not served by anyone, are not improving the delivery system, and we are trying to fill that gap. But our goal is global. By the fact that 46% of all the food and beverage that are being distributed in the developing market, they go through traditional trade. They don't go to, through supermarket as much, or hypermarket, or even convenience store. They use the mom and pop, the small kind of shops, right? And um, if you see in New York, there are many bodegas, but it's about one bodega for every 700 people. But if you go to India, Kiranas, any Indian that's here? Kiranas is one of those for every 100 Indians. So uh, it's, we have a lot in New York, I believe, too. But we have more outside of, in the south kind of thing, right? Bodegas is, is a very different animal, and that's why people, uh, are not getting into that space that much. It is informal. Uh, probably they don't have digital, digital inventory. There is a cash base for the most part. Sometimes you cannot find a POS to pay your credit card, right? Um, but there are a few features that are very important. You go to a supermarket and they don't know you. You go to these bodegas and they know you, your girlfriend, your pet, your kids, and you know them. So there is a, this relation that is unique for this neighborhood kind of stores, right? Another one that is, people laugh at this, they are somehow under the table. They, part of their business is under the table. You don't know that. To monetize that is a challenge. And we believe that we have a little bit of a formula to, to uh, serve these people and make some money out of that. So there is a digital gap and there is a digital connection. Um, what happened is, the delivery system that they have is somehow inefficient, could be improved. Right now, if you call a bodega, you need to know the number, you need to know probably Spanish or Chinese to know you know, the person that is going to answer to you. And, um, and then it's very kind of uh, manual, personal. What we want to try to do is to improve that, so you don't need to, to know the person, to talk to the person, just to use your app to communicate with that. And the delivery is happening from their own People. We don't invest in hiring people to do the delivery. They own this store, they have their own delivery system. They have their own delivery board. And they don't participate in the digital economy. If you Google, maybe you find the store and the phone number, but you cannot buy or anything uh, from these stores. And then there's a disconnection. This is very important for the second phase of where we are heading. Is they, the connection between the supplier or the, the manufacturer, the, and then is there are so many layers in between. So we want to help that to make more, more efficient that process. So our first product is a home delivery system, business to customer. So the business of the bodega connecting with the, the customer. And we are aiming to go to the B2B. So the Goya or the Procter & Gamble of the planet will connect to the bodegas in a better way. Now, this is a... A big dream we had to prove to our investors where we're heading, that we could scale. And this is the big, big chunk of uh, market that we are, we are. We are aiming to only 2% of this big pie. Mm -hmm. uh, we are aiming to be in 10 different markets in 24 months. That is kind of our goal. 
But it's still, if, even if we are in this all this market, we're going to. It's a minor uh, part of the whole um, possibilities that we could achieve to serve. Uh, going deeper into the, the business model, right? So this is the bodega. These are the Procter and Gamble's and the Colgate and why not? And this is the customer, right? Yes. If the customer right now walk to the bodega, right? And they they may not may, may cannot use a credit card, so we are offering that. And then we're going to make more efficient this. So it's going to, uh, the bodega will make a delivery to the customer, right? They could still walk it, and that's fine. We just are improving this section of that. In the other side, I got Procter and Gamble, right? or Colgate selling something to the bodega, they have to go to so many layers of distribution. Um, we will not be in the business of making the actual distribution, but to communicate the transaction. So we'll have an information, marketing information, and uh, request of orders. That is the business that we want to do, information. The distribution will still taking place in the way that they have it. Uh, we don't want to disrupt the actual distribution, but the communication in that way. Now, competition. Well, any startup company say you, I don't have any competition, <laughs> But yeah, we do. But we do it outside of the U.S. In the U.S., we don't have any competition. There is no one serving bodegas in New York in this fashion. Uh, but something core uh, important about this. So Instacart is a $3.4 billion company valuation right now. They, they are like, like the back end of uh, supermarket distribution in many of the big chains in the U.S. Uh, Uber Eats, people are familiar with that, right? So we are not competing with them, but the core of the people of Insta that, that use Instacart is time. Uber Eats is kind of a discovery app. What I want to do today, I want to eat Chinese or I want to eat what uh, Italian, right? It's a kind of a discovery card. We are not in that business because I am the customer and I know the bodeguero. I have a relation now. I don't need to chop in around what is the best way. I know him. He knows me. So there is a relationship. So what I say is, what we are doing, we are doing a relationship, enhancing what it is right there. To move me along, this is what um, we have so far. We test this uh, in May last year. We learn a lot, we build the whole thing again. We are in MVP2, if you want to say. Um, so we have a couple of apps, a website, and a dashboard for the bodega owner. Um, our idea is to, uh, we are launching in this month and next month, we're testing this in three markets, and hopefully we go by the end of the summer to yes, the yes. Uh, We have got a team, I could talk more about that in the Q&A. And what I need help from you. Well, we have been able to raise about 70 something thousand dollars, uh, and we are fine. We create a round of 100,000. We are short of about two, three, uh, twenty thousand dollars. We don't want any money. We want smart money. In our case, we want female investors. This is what we're lacking. We're a bunch of Latino guys that put this together. So the diversity we have, it. we are male, all, all, of, all of us. So we want somehow diversity in that way. I don't know if you can uh, relate it to that, but is it, you know, a startup is the opportunity to create wealth, and if you get opportunity to females, and then we want that perspective. It's not only the money, but they have a different perspective. They are the choppers. Uh, we are just guys uh, doing it. Um, so, yeah, that would be it. Thank you.